Ow, what is good? Ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, it's BBK Dragoon, Grand Halo Adventure 15. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? I am hyped. These games, a couple of clips, you know, oh, just fun. These games were fun. I had a lot of fun, especially in this Halo 2 classic game. I mean, turf. Who can forget these maps? And, you know, when, when MCC works and you get 4v4s, and, oh, fun. That's all I can say. MCC is the weirdest nostalgia trip thing. I don't know if you guys go through this. If you just, you play in the Team Slayer playlist, you play Halo 2 Classic, and then it throws you into Halo 3, and then you get thrown into Halo CE. So many memories of these eras of Halo that just you flood my mind. Every time, I mean, when I play Halo 2 Classic, look, I'm most fond of Halo 2 Classic. The movement is so fast everything is fast and precise and it just feels there's a feel to halo 2 classic look at that guy on the sign there's a feel to this that you just don't get anywhere else okay and but then but then you think about halo 3 halo 3 had its own feel and its own memories that go along with it that you can't get elsewhere and here is the thing that i'm hyped about i think i truly think halo 5 could be a new era for Halo. Oh my gosh, that nay just raffle compter stomped me. Halo 5 could be it. I'm not saying the greatest Halo, but what I am saying is I'm starting to believe that Halo 5 could usher in a new era for Halo fans and players. Now, I am cautiously optimistic because there's going to be five of you in the comments who are like, bro, you're so wrong. Halo 5's gonna suck, and you shouldn't pay 3-4 Thrizzle for their new Bizzle. But honestly, I think there's a lot of good stuff coming from what we've seen, what we've played in the beta. And you know what? Halo 5 is its own being. It has its own feel. Just like if you were to compare Halo CE to Halo 2 Classic, Halo 3, Reach 4, they all have their own feel. Now you can argue which one is the best. But if you have been a dedicated Halo player throughout the last 10 years, you've experienced a lot of different feeling Halos. And that's part of the fun is going through this adventure. That's part of the title. Like, I started the Grand Halo Adventure to help get through the tough time of broken MCC. Now, by the way, I have been taking tap dancing lessons. So I'll do a little skadoodle right there on the red team's head. Pretty nice. I'm, I'm not at river dance levels yet, but I think I did a nice little number on that guy's head. Anyway, the reason I started the Grand Halo Adventure uh, was back in February when Master Chief Collection was still broken. For those of you who are new to MCC, it only started working, like, decently in March. So I started this series knowing that there are ups and downs in the adventure. And at the time, there was virtually nobody else making Halo videos. I don't want to discount those that were, but it was very small. More people are doing it now, which I appreciate. But it was a way to acknowledge the fact that there's ups and downs. I think Halo 5 is going to be a huge high point. Now, granted, it has to work. We can't stomach any more uh, technical issues. But I'm not going to live in the negative side, glass half-empty world. I'm going to assume that Halo 5 is going to work, since the beta worked fantastically. Now, if you've watched the last few weeks of the Grand Halo Adventure, I've gone over all the sweet new Halo 5 stuff. I've talked about the eSports aspect, the spectator mode with wireframe, Warzone, the campaign that's supposed to be twice as long as Halo 4. All of these things that are making Halo 5 start to sound like, you know, the Halo 2. This could be a rev revolutionary step forward for Halo. Regardless of what your opinions are about the balance, I'm past that. I'm very far past that. And guess what? They can now update balance without patches. This is going to be, I think, the most dynamic, unique, era for Halo in the sense that we have the developers directly acknowledging the importance of competitive play. They're not ignoring the fact that Warzone works towards the more casual multiplayer side of the community. For the big team battle players, it's not coming at launch. I don't understand your, like, I like big team battle, but I'm not part of your community. You know what I'm saying? I'm not a BTB guy. I'm a 4v4 person. I love Arena. That's where I'm at. Those free DLC maps have got me going wild. More importantly, Halo 5 offers a unique look and a different pace of gameplay that it might get new people involved in the scene. I love the old school Halo players. Love you all. 
but we need new blood in this community to grow it and to freshen and strengthen our resolve. And releasing games that look like the previous Halos, in my opinion, that just doesn't work. Doesn't, you know, making a Halo 3 HD, I don't think would do that. I think you'd bring back a lot of the old school people who might have moved on, but I'm ready for some new blood. And I know there's going to be some of you in the comments who are like, you are kissing 343's butt. I hate the way Halo 5 is. Classic Halo is the way it should be. I will never win that argument. It's just something that Halo players will debate for the rest of time. But I want you to know I am stinking excited for Halo 5. I've had great adventures, not just this year, but in the last 10 years of Halo. And I'm looking forward to forging more. There's a lot of potential with Halo 5. I'm hoping, I'm hoping it delivers. Man, October can't get here soon enough. Thanks everybody for watching, I appreciate it. I'm Burger King Dragon and I'm gonna fly forward now. See you next time. Oh, like the video if you enjoyed too and leave a comment.